In other Enaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Enaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Enaba. The time is now midnight. Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power, and for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Uh. 
social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your Persona's abilities. Achie, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know. All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. 
That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. She's there! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? <laughs> Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? Game! Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so... barren. <laughs> Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying! My nose 
nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. And now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was hauled up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way. All we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work?
have said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Uh, okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, we need to get in touch with Yukiko-san first. Uh, crap, I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. already. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? Sorry for the holdup. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? Or like this? What about this? Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap! I mean, no, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too! I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around, or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? 
It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer Miss Yamana was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Y you're right. So, what are we going to do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, 
I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time, We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. 
<laughs> Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Dino. It doesn't matter. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. We really stick out. I guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. 
I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story... I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead! Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her.
Please, beat them up! Okay, leave it to me. Okay, got you. I hear you loud and clear. Okay, will do. All right, partner. Persona! Good work, Sensei! That's one nice. so far! When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Sensei! Another level for me! I smell two enemies! Beat them up! Counting on you! That's it, Yosuke! One enemy down! Persona! It's down! Now's our chance! You ready? Okay! Out of our way! Sensei's way. Good work, Sensei. That's one nice. so far. Victory! Not bad, partner. Another level for me. There are two enemies! Yeah. Hang in there! Ah! Yosuke's on the warpath! Keep it going! <laughs> Just one enemy left! Okay, let's go!
Chie, are you all right? Chie? She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. Oh man, is that? It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over a suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Are we, Are we talking, talking about, about that, that Yukiko? <laughs> she <laughs> says I'm protecting her. her. She, she says she's worthless. <laughs> That's how it should be, right? What are you saying? You can go so good looking, so fair skinned, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When you can go look at me with such jealousy, man, did I get a charge out of that. You can go knows the score, she can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her, much, much better. No! I've, I've never thought that! What are we gonna do? We need to protect Chie-chan right now! No! Don't come near me! Don't look at me! Chie, calm down! No! No! This isn't me! Wait, stupid! Don't say anything else like that! <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't do anything alone. I can't win as a girl, let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But you can go. She depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so, so you're just, just going, going to turn, turn your back and deny me again? again? But things are different now. When, when the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. You won't mind, right? I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Gee, no! You're not me! <laughs> <laughs> Chie! <laughs> ah! It's coming! You have to use your powers to save Chie Chan!
of pain. Chie, just hang in there a little longer. Huh. Think, Think you, you can, can stop me that, that easy? easy? <laughs> <laughs> Persona! Now's our chance. You ready? Uh, if you say so. Looks like you won't understand without a little pain! Why all this for her? Okay, gotcha. Persona! Let's go, partner. All right. Out of our way. <laughs> How lame. You're all so deadly serious, serious and we've, we've only gotten, gotten started. Sweet for me. Okay, leave it to me. Throw down! Are you guys idiots? Why are you protecting her like that? She's nothing but a grubby bitch! Persona! Don't make fun of me! You're... You're nothing against me! Okay, gotcha! Let's go, partner. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. You did it, Sensei. Another level for me. Chie, are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. B but Huh? He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me.
Uh, I... Um... It's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? All right, let's get back to the entrance, though. It's dangerous around here. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here, and that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean, they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now! We've come so far! Yukiko's still here! She's all alone! She must be so scared! Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. We're definitely going to save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's going to split open. Are you guys okay? right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tam ta -dam! I got a pair ready for Chie-chan too. Here you go! Whoa, what the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now! You didn't tell me she was coming! It was all so sad and... I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? 
Faux show! We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? Yeah, I agree. I promise to. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. Okay, let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. 